I have the quirkiest little project to share with you guys, and I know you're gonna love it. Okay, I have to set the stage for you first of all. We are in our guest room, and um, so it's a very fun mix of stuff. Really modern bed, you know, funky old screen door, and I've had this suitcase right here in this bedroom forever. I love old suitcases. I just think they're so charming and cool, so I've had it sitting on a table forever. Recently, I'm thinking, oh, I wanna change up that bedroom a little bit. I'm walking around with this suitcase, trying to figure out where else to put it in my house, and I all of a sudden had this idea that I know you guys are gonna to wanna to do this project. Okay, ready, check this out. So it's an old ratty suitcase, right? You know, you see these things for like nothing. Look what I did the inside of it. This is so fun and cool, and I've made a little shelf out of it. So all I did was line it with some funky old newspaper, right? You could do whatever you've got. And then I actually, this is actually twine from our barn, but you know, get whatever you've got from your hardware store. Some little eye screws right here. And so, you know, I could literally set something on this if I wanted to. If you need to reinforce it with some wood, you could or not, whichever. So it's the perfect little wonderful shelf. Then, of course, I had to run around my house, gather up all kinds of little stuff, and now I'm gonna decorate it with you. So I first of all grabbed a rug, which I thought would be really you know, pretty. I always am looking for a way when I create a little vignette, I wanna anchor it. So I grabbed this beautiful little rusty number to put on the wall. This was an old broken um, lantern that I tied some um, pretty little twine onto it and made it now a wonderful hanging lantern. I had it upside down forever on a shelf. So it's very pretty this way, you know, repurposing things. I know you guys like to do this kind of stuff too. Then I grabbed a, a little darling um, leopard number from a different room and I thought that would be really cute here. So I've got my whole scene set. Then I gathered up all this stuff. So, you know, this is just stuff that, you know, I'm grabbing out of other rooms. A bunch of wall art, so I'm gonna bring this over, and you know, we'll sort of do this decorating together. So I've got these pieces. I know for sure that I'm gonna wanna put one piece at least inside of this thing, cause it's kinda, and I grabbed this with this in mind, and I'm hoping it will actually fit almost. Yep, perfectly, okay. So I think that's so pretty like that, and I love the way that, um, you know, I'm looking to kind of create a country French story. And sometimes I do that when I decorate. I'll kind of run around my house, and I'll start to get kind of a theme in my mind. What am I gonna do with this? I want it to be eclectic. Um, you know, I want it to be interesting. Okay, what am I gonna grab here? I wanna put this pillow down here, because I thought it would be pretty. I always am looking for another way, too, to break things up a little bit. Um, I grabbed a bunch of books, so I'll put this pillow, and I love this, you know, funky old pillow. And it's pretty down here. I'll put some books down here. And you know me, I'm always putting books in everything because I always think they're just a great, it's just a great way to add, you know, some stuff in. Um, okay, ready? I got this at the dollar store. I'm not kidding you guys. When I tell you I am thrifty, I shop everywhere. The dollar store, how great is that? It's like a Matisse print that, you know, they did a little decoupage thing with, but it's so fun. I nearly screamed when I found that thing some little frame prints. I love the idea of layering um, different um, prints in front of other ones. I think that's fun. I've got a pretty stack of books, always a stack of books by everything. I think that's always pretty. Plus the nice thing about a stack of books in a guest room is that, um, you know, then your guests have something wonderful to look at and read. Okay, let's put a little, I love little boxes like this, little aged boxes. Again, none of this is priceless stuff. You guys know that about me by now. You know that I'm just always hunting. I love the idea, of, I love the pop of color here. Something really bright and colorful. This is one of our little vases against this pretty box. I think that's interesting and contrasty. This is a decoupage plate that I made. Um, you know, this is pretty too. I'll just put this in here. I grabbed a little, little darling bird. I thought that would be fun in the mix. You guys know I love little birds and things like that. So in all of, you know, just a few minutes, this thing didn't take any time at all. I've got this fabulous new vignette, and you might be hunting for a suitcase around your house. <laughs>